If you live in a city, you probably see pigeons everywhere. On wires, on the street eating food, on the steps of a big building, or even under a bridge. But pigeons, as common as they may seem, are actually very interesting creatures. The first thing you need to know about pigeons is that they're actually doves, or doves are actually pigeons. Scientifically, there's no difference between the two. The common pigeon is also called a rock dove or a rock pigeon. In some languages, there isn't even a separate word for pigeon and dove. Pigeons still live in the wild, but they mostly dwell in the city. But why are there so many pigeons in cities? They actually evolved on the shores of North Africa and the Mediterranean Sea, where they made their homes on rocky ledges and cliffs. It was this natural love for hard surfaces that made them a perfect fit in urban areas. But the main reason that there are so many pigeons in cities is mostly due to humans. Around 5,000 years ago, the people of Mesopotamia started putting out houses for these birds. As the birds became more tame, people began breeding them for food in areas where other wild animals had become scarce. Later, humans learned that they could also use pigeons to carry written messages over long distances, thanks to the birds' incredible homing instinct. So, humans really are to blame for the massive amount of pigeons in our urban areas. Pigeons mate for life and tend to raise two chicks at the same time. Both female and male pigeons share the responsibility of caring for and raising young. Both sexes take turns incubating the eggs and both feed the chicks pigeon milk, a special secretion from the lining of the crop which both sexes produce. Pigeons lay eggs, and those eggs hatch into nestlings after 18 days. The nestlings stay in the nest from 25 to 45 days, and then they start to fly. A baby pigeon is called a squab. Both male and female pigeons sometimes exhibit homosexual behavior. In addition to sexual behavior, same-sex pigeons will often build nests, and hens will even lay infertile eggs and attempt to incubate them. While pigeons don't migrate, they do have incredible navigation ability, and if they are removed from their home, they can fly back long distances. They use a range of skills for navigation, such as the sun as a guide and an internal magnetic compass. A study at Oxford University found that they will also use landmarks as signposts and will travel along man-made roads and motorways, even changing direction at junctions. Pigeons can fly at altitudes up to and beyond 6,000 feet, and at and at an average speed of 77.6 miles per hour. The fastest recorded speed of a pigeon is a whopping 92.5 miles per hour. Pigeons are omnivores, but prefer plant matter, chiefly fruits and grains. But in cities, they typically resort to scavenging human garbage, as unprocessed grain may be impossible to find. Pigeon groups typically consist of producers, which locate and obtain the food and scroungers, which feed on food obtained by the producers. Generally, a group of pigeons contain a greater proportion of scroungers than producers. While most birds take small sips and tilt their heads backwards while drinking, pigeons are able to dip their bills into the water and drink continuously without having to tilt their heads back.